Hey everybody, welcome to day two of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. My name is Brad and this is my wife Jessica. If we haven't met you, we sure hope to meet you in this new year. Our topic today is on marriages and healthy marriages. And we all know that marriages are under attack spiritually and we're believing for a renewal in your marriage in this new year. So we're going to take a look at a verse in the Word of God. And so if you'll open up your Bibles to Joshua chapter 24, um, this is where Joshua is giving a strong word and a big challenge to the Israelites on how to make God first in their home. And it says this, But if you refuse to serve the Lord, then choose today whom you will serve. Would you prefer the God your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates? Or will it be the gods of the Amorites in whose land you now live? But as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. Yeah, I love that last part. And uh, he talks about these different gods or these different past experiences. And so a few things that we read coming out of this verse is, uh, number one, that we have to be unified in our choice to be a home that is God and Christ-centered. Um, Joshua recognizes that there have been some past experiences where they have served other gods or made poor decisions and how that affected them. But choose this day, like today. So for you and your home, maybe you would say, well, we could do a little better this year. Do better. Go ahead and be united in your marriage that we're going to do a better job. We've made these different priorities, these resolutions around maybe healthy eating or saving money. At the top of the list, though, let's choose to make our house a house of the Lord, a place where God is first, and be unified in that in your marriage. The second thing is spiritual leadership in your home. And so that is so important and something that we have relied on in our marriage and our yeah. relationship and our family and a couple of practical ways you can do that today right now. The first thing would be prayer. Right. I know it can be a little intimidating to pray with your spouse, but it ch can change everything. Yeah. Um, we pray together every morning with our kids, with our family gathered and that is something that we're setting the example for for our children as well i'm sure you've heard that 50 percent of marriages end in divorce there's a new study that has come out that says less than one percent of christian families that pray together end in divorce right. so that's a very large number that know that prayer changes things that's right yeah so we're not perfect at it. We miss days, but we do our best, and we invite our kids into it as well. Even our two-year-old, he'll pray. He wants to be the first one to pray every morning, so we've started that. We also do our best to get in the Word of God every day. Maybe it's not for an hour. Maybe sometimes it's one, one verse, if that, and that's okay, but we're making sure that that is a principle in our home. We're working on memory verses. Again, it's not something that we're memorizing one every day, but we have a verse of the week that we work on as a family and we've made that a priority and i would say one other thing is we just invite our family into conversations even our small kids we want to talk about the things going on that they're seeing the things that maybe happened at our seven-year-old school and we try to find biblical basis and truths for our children yeah. and talk about it and that's something simple you can do even if you don't always have the answer it's something you can ask someone or even look it up but this year we want to challenge you be united in this decision to be a Christ-centered home. Go ahead and make some priorities. We're going to go to church. We're going to be involved. We're going to make sure that it's not just me choosing and having to pull her along or vice versa. We're in this together. And then we're going to have great spiritual leadership over our family, our kids, and in our marriage. We're believing that God is going to move in your life, in your marriage this year. And we're so grateful that you're a part of our church. We'd love to just say a quick prayer over you as we end today's devotional. Heavenly Father, you are a good God, and we thank you for all the marriages out there. And we're praying that this year it would be a year of healthy marriages, a year of renewing some marriages, a year of some slight adjustments, like maybe adding prayer, hearing that statistic that less than 1% of marriages that pray regularly end in divorce. Well, Lord, help us to start making prayer a priority in our lives and we're just believing that you're going to move and bring not just a renewing but a revival in our marriages where there is a new life and an example for the people around us to see you at work and we're so grateful for that in jesus name amen, amen. love you guys happy new year